Well, good afternoon. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Lewis University. My name is Joe Felice, the Vice President for Student Services here at Lewis, and I am excited for all of you to be here and welcome you to the official dedication of the Brother James Gaffney Student Center. What a historic occasion in the life of our wonderful university. A very special welcome to Brother James Gaffney, President Emeritus, and his family that have joined us on this very special day. Brother James, we're very glad that you're here. Many of you know that Brother James has undergone recently two knee replacement surgeries and continues on his road to recovery. We are also all very glad that you're here to be with us, Brother James, and wish you well in your ongoing recovery. I would also like to acknowledge the following dignitaries that have joined us today and ask that they stand and be recognized. I believe Mayor John Noak was going to be here. I had asked Brother, uh, Mayor John Noak, Mayor of Romeoville, Mr. Roger Clare, the Mayor of Bolingbrook, Illinois State Senator Mr. Pat McGuire, and Illinois State Representative Mr. Larry Walsh Sr., if they would stand and be recognized. What a special day for our students. Many of them are here today. As a Catholic and LaSallean institution with a mission that values the development of the whole student, a student center is an essential place for students to engage in the many co-curricular opportunities that we offer. This special place will also help our students to develop their interpersonal skills and develop lifelong relationships that they can foster as they become alumni of this great university. We also hope that the Brother James Gaffney Student Center will generate enthusiasm among prospective students and their parents as they consider pursuing their higher educational journey. Earlier today, we were over here at the building and I happened to be walking back over to the north side of campus and I saw one of our tour guides taking a family around and coming over to this building and the smiles on their faces was a, a picture to behold. And so hopefully that's evidence that uh, prospective students and their families as they visit Lewis University will take the great pride in this building as we take in it. And now, it is my pleasure to ask the president of Lewis University, Dr. Dave Livingston, to come forward for his remarks. Dr. Livingston. Thank you, Joe. And I want to also extend uh, my welcome to everybody uh, that is here today, to our students, our faculty and staff, and uh, especially to uh, all of our friends from near and far who are joining us for this uh, great event. Uh, I especially want to thank those people who were involved in making this a reality. Uh, there have been many people who have invested in this building, but uh, several that I want to especially uh, note. Um, a few people that could not be here today. Uh, Dottie Brown, who was not able to join us. Uh, the Wadsworth family. And uh, these people who, um, who invested in here but couldn't be here today, uh, you'll see their names as you go through the building in terms of what they have made possible. Uh, we also would like to thank uh, First Midwest Bank and especially uh, their CEO, Mike Scudder, uh, Terry Darcy and his family uh, who are here and, and made a significant donation to the building. Joanne Barber, who's here, we're grateful for uh, your investment uh, in the building. The Lavin Family Foundation, and especially Andy Langert, who's here with us today. Uh, White and Company, who uh, not only invested in the building, uh, but constructed the building. Uh, Pat and uh, the whole uh, group, we are incredibly grateful for all that you did. And Sodexo, uh, who invested in this building and will be serving you the food inside. So uh, thank them when you uh, go in there. The investment that all of these people have made uh, in this institution and in this building specifically will impact students uh, this year, but in many years to come. As Joe said, we want to create a building here uh, that allows people to build those friendships that will last for decades. The LaSallean tradition is incredibly important to us. Uh, we believe and we start all of our prayers uh, with the words, 
let us remember that we are in the holy presence of God. I am confident that uh, God is with us today and God's spirit will be a part of this building uh, with all the late night conversations and the many times in which our students and our faculty will break bread here. We are uh, grateful to the Christian Brothers for um, their support of us and their guidance uh, and leadership. And of course, today we honor uh, one of the greats among the Christian Brothers, uh, Brother James Gaffney, who this building is named after. The addition of this building to our campus is a, a testament to what Brother James did over nearly 40 years. He was not only the president for 28 years, uh, dedicated himself, and I can tell you as somebody who now sits in that chair that it is a, uh, an incredible job. And I am confident, well, I will never serve 28 years as president of Lewis <laughs> University. Uh, because uh, the amount of energy that it takes to get through a year, uh, let alone 28, uh, I, my hat's off to you. What I am wanting to get across to everybody that's here as I introduce uh, Brother James for his remarks is that when he was here and we had conversations as we were transitioning, every decision that he made over his 28 years was grounded in the question, what is best for our students? Whether that was the creation of a new program, the starting of a new sports team, the construction of a new building, the hiring of a new faculty. It was always about, is this what is best for our students? He is a man of great character. He challenged the leadership team to do more than they thought they could do. He made sure that the university, both uh, students and faculty and staff were grounded in the LaSallean tradition. I would say one of the things that I found when I was hired is that uh, the board said to me when we were looking for a new president, uh, we went out and asked students and faculty about the institution and we realized that the students knew more about what it meant to be LaSallean than the board did. And so we decided we had to spend more time on that part of the institution and that is a testament to Brothers James' leadership. He is a man who believes um, in bringing people together. He is a uh, leader in the Christian Brothers. He's a brother, he's an uncle, uh, he's a friend, uh, and I am honored to introduce him to all of you, many of you who know him so well, uh, we are so grateful to honor you with this building. Brother James Gaffney. Does anyone happen to have my notes? Uh, <laughs> doesn't really matter what the occasion is, that's all right, I'll, I'll adapt. Uh, Joe, thank you for the reference to knees so that people don't say why is he not even polite enough to stand up and greet me. So uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, one surgery six weeks ago, the other three weeks ago. So it's, it's a slow process, but we're making some good progress. If I can just survive not being sliced by what's behind me. And, um, uh, but I think I'd be in a lot better shape. I know I will be in three weeks or so. So with your authorization, uh, we're gonna dismiss you. We're gonna come back in four weeks, if that's all right. The food is stable, we'll keep it frozen, so that'll be just fine. And uh, good night, Godspeed, thank you. So. <laughs> Enthusiastic welcome uh, to this long-anticipated dedication and blessing ceremony and reception. I was talking to some students as I came onto this plaza, and they were involved in the first consultation that took place. And the, it was done so carefully and so uh, resourcefully uh, by student services, by uh, White and & Company, and other consultants. So uh, long-anticipated dedication and blessing ceremony, and they're just thrilled to see it now a reality. 
uh, stunningly beautiful. And, and if you really, if you're here on campus in the evening, come out over and see what it looks like with the lights on, uh, on the building, exterior lights. They're, fin they're just magnificent, stunningly uh, beautiful. So it's our newest uh, campus building. And uh, much appreciation to those generous donors and their many and benefactors who made all this possible. I want to say a word of appreciation to the trustees, and I know there's a lot of trustees here today in the executive administration, uh, for your eagerness and determination that this building will happen to provide the students in all categories uh, with this splendid campus center to offer various services and opportunities for collaborative learning and for greater experience of community. Uh, there's so many people who deserve appreciation and praise for what uh, we're celebrating today. Going back some 16, 18 months when the vision developed and so many in different capacities and so many units uh, in the university can take great pride because of where we are. I want to single out Joe Felice, Senior Vice President, for his patience and determination going back probably eight years. He and retired Senior VP Robert DeRose uh, for their uh, commitment to making this something that would be so responsive to the needs of the students. And uh, their, uh, their teams, the facilities department, multi-year development of uh, design, uh, on-campus consultation, very high standards of creativity, of practicality, and overall excellence. It's the newest building, either totally new or completely rebuilt uh, in the last 30 years. I think there's 28 or 29 structures. So that'll be the challenge tonight. It's okay, before you have your second drink, you start adding up and see if you get anywhere close to 28 or 29. And if you don't, that's your problem, really. <laughs> Welcome faculty and staff and alumni. Welcome fellow Christian brothers. A uh, warm welcome, very much appreciated to members of my family up front here. Uh, deeply appreciate your coming from Chicago or the suburbs or one of the coasts in the United States. We're really appreciative. I'm not gonna be able to say uh, greetings personally to a lot of you tonight because we don't get a chance to be together too often. So we're gonna go over to the LaSalle House community of the Christian Brothers and have a little cake and ice cream ourselves. Uh, so my apology right now, there's hundreds and hundreds of you right now. I just won't be able to, to thank you all and individually uh, for your presence. However, the bars will be kept open till 1 a.m. And I will return. If you're here, I will be with you, all right? Uh, I want to give special praise to Pat Cermak. Uh, Pat is the president uh, for White & Company. Uh, Dr. Livingston gave appropriately wonderful comments about the firm. And uh, everything they do, they do so well. And Pat and your colleagues, many of whom are here tonight, this is another gem. This is just a magnificent building. Finally, joyous congratulations to the Lewis students for whom this marvelous structure has been built. Uh, for them and for you, uh, your development. Indeed, the majesty of this campus and the very high quality of various campus structures reflect the significance of the mission, the focus on each student and her or his holistic development, the awareness of God's caring presence in the life of each student, the beauty and sacredness of the campus of all creation, our common home, the respect for the meaningfulness of a quality LaSallean Catholic education at Lewis, and lastly, a constant reminder of your shared role as faculty, as staff, as administrators, as trustees, as De La Salle Christian Brothers, as LaSallean partners in carrying out uh, your common mission and the spirit of association as you seek to accompany the students as they become ever more ethical leaders, socially responsible adults, and critical and creative thinkers. In truth, it's all about, but it's always been all about the students. Enhancing lives here at Lewis just has been, has been done in the LaSallean worldwide heritage globally since 1680. Same mission. No wonder that one of our newest and uh, uh, members and leaders of the university community, uh, Dr. Christopher Sin, who is the new provost uh, from our sister institution in California, St. Mary's College, and the capable successor to our extraordinarily able and dedicated longtime provost, Dr. Stephanie uh, Schlachter. No wonder that Dr. Sin recently provided this validation in an interview in the Flyer newspaper about what an extraordinary university Lewis has become. To quote, I have two messages for the Lewis University community. One, that this is a really great university. 
Everyone should be super proud that they're going to graduate from here. I'm just so impressed with the university. The faculty and staff are amazing. Student work is extraordinary, and it's not like this everywhere. And secondly, I really want to meet many, many of the students and come to know you ever so much better. So there you have it, an almost immediate recognition of the general excellence of this very special university and the quality of its mission, of its faculty and staff, of its student body. And also a reminder that students are always to be placed, as was said, at the center of our shared mission and decision making. And this glorious new structure, this extraordinary student center, is a powerful and permanent reminder of why we're here, of who you are as Lusayan educational community, and why this extraordinary education work has been entrusted to you always together in an association. Accordingly, students, enjoy this space. Take full advantage of this splendid gift on behalf of many, many individuals as an investment in your growth and education. Faculty and staff, be renewed in the meaningfulness of your common calling and your achievement of excellence here as in so many other places. And finally, to the entire Lewis University community and many friends here gathered, it's a genuine privilege and delight to remain associated with you in your very impactful mission, now manifested so effectively in the dedication and opening of this splendid, do I dare call it, Brother James Gaffney Student Center. Thank you. <laughs> Good afternoon. It's fitting today that we dedicate this student center in honor of Brother James Gaffney, since students were always the primary focus of his tenure at Lewis University. One of his first priorities as president was the development, renewal, and implementation of Lewis University's student-centered Catholic and LaSallean mission, the mission that permeates all functions and areas of the university. This plaque that hangs in this building attests to this as it declares, may this student center serve as an enduring tribute to Brother James Gaffney, whose vision, spirit, and concern enabled him to enrich the lives of so many students. So it is with enormous gratitude that we entreat the Lord to send his blessing upon this special place and ask that it always stand in witness to Lewis University's commitment to student success, self-actualization, and achievement. I now ask the following people to please stand to participate in the blessing. Brother James Gaffney, President Emeritus. William Riley, President, Student Senate. Kristen Callahan, Assistant Professor of Art and Design. Kathy Slattery, Dean of Student Services. Dr. Christy Kelly, Chief Diversity Officer. Kathy Halloran, Chair, Board of Trustees. And Dr. David Livingston, President. In our rite of blessing, we use water which signifies God's ever-renewing presence in our lives. And we ask God, our creator, redeemer, and sanctifier, to bless this center with a spirit of joy, harmony, and community. I invite you to listen to this song chosen for this special occasion. Let us remember that we are in the holy presence of God. The kingdom of God is justice and peace.
St. John Baptist de La Salle. Pray for us. Live Jesus in our hearts. Forever. Amen. Thank you, Steve, and all. We now will move to the ribbon cutting ceremony, uh, part of the ceremony. And as you can see, there are going to be not one, not two. There's going to be three ribbons that we're going to cut. <laughs> and so I am going to ask the following individuals. The first one that we're going to cut is going to be the one directly behind me. And then the second one will be um, the one uh, on the right, uh, to my right, on this end over here. And then the um, I'm sorry, this one over here, and then the third one will be the one over uh, to my right. So the first group that I would like to call up is uh, Brother James Gaffney, Dr. David Livingston, myself. Is, is myself here? Okay. William Riley, President of the Student Senate. Kaylin Yvonne, Student Senator. Senator. Kathy Halloran, Chair of the Board of Trustees. Pat Cermak from White & Company. Mayor John Noak. Senator Pat McGuire. And Representative Larry Walsh, Jr. And we also have ribbon cutting by our donor group with us this afternoon. And I would ask Andy Langert to step forward, Terry Darcy, Joanne Barber, Ed and Sandy Pradell, and Mike Scudder. And then we have students that are joining us, student leaders that are joining us for the ribbon cutting ceremony. We have Michael Hassan, Samaj Robinson, Latia Johnson, Alexandra Barrios, Eduardo Lopez, and Ellen Kintop. Thank you. Oh, I, think. Stay here. I think I go over. 